Yeah, Bob. Uh, welcome back. It's been a while. It's nice to see you again. Uh, got a new router. Big router. Big thing. It's like it's long. Got a new truck. Sold my focus. Um, needed something automatic I could daily drive to get good gas mileage. Also needed a truck. So when he's like, hey, need you to go get parts. And I'm leaving my classes. I can just stop off and get them. So, we got a truck. Got a truck. Got a truck. So, but, but it's a 16 model. And we're going to make it look like an 18, 19, and 20 model. We got a new front end. Right here. Flip it. Flip it. We got a new style grill. We got the new style headlights. And we're putting a, what kind of bumper? Uh, we're doing the Raptor style bumper. The Raptor style bumper on the front. Because I'm doing 20 by 12s. And even though, the 20 by 12s are the ones off the Jeep. Because I had to get Raptors to put those on the Jeep. Because they're drilled for an F-150. But even though with the 2 inch spacer lifts that I'm putting on this truck. They're supposed to clear with the factory bumper. I'm going ahead, I went ahead and got the Raptor style bumper to be safe, that way it's tapered, that way I don't have to do any extra trimming that's unnecessary. Right. And for so, you all that's watched the latest videos, which has been a while since they posted, boom, there's the Mustang, we haven't got it done yet, but the bodywork is almost done. You can see <coughs> the quarter over here, where it was pretty well killed. We got it all straightened with very little body filler and then which we're painting the car all over and he's got a set of killer wheels to go on it and lowering springs and he'll be cruising this summer but he's worked hard he's bought and flipped cars and he's doing what his daddy done when he was young so i hope he continues doing that plus work at a good job because customers will drive you crazy so we've been so covered up with uh we've been covered up with uh, customers cars <coughs> Uh, deer around here is pathetic in Kentucky. I mean, they're everywhere. You can leave it any day on our road and there will be, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, I can give you pictures. There's anywhere from 8, 10, 20 deer in the fields running. And it's just crazy. And just this week alone, which this is Saturday, it's Saturday morning, and we're working on his vehicles today. We work in the shop Monday through Friday. But just this week alone, we had three cars dropped off that hit deer. And then next week, we've got Two more coming that we got to do estimates on to hit deer, and it's just, we stay so busy. Wednesday but, at 3 o'clock, I get paid on Wednesday, so Wednesday I went to go get my check at work, and I pulled out of our driveway, I'm almost to the end of our road, here's eight deer go across the road. Yeah, it's crazy. Daylight. Oh, and another note, besides <clears throat> my son's new truck and his Mustang, which you've already seen, but the truck, we didn't film it. Uh, it was hitting the front. We put a whole front structure on. We put the front, uh, the the cab rails, the cab rails, uh, radiator support, radiator condenser fans, <clears throat> both fenders, hood, all Ford parts, radiator support, and the two mounts that weld on the frame horns for the bumper to mount to. It was hit above that and just kind of rolled it back. We just went ahead and replaced all of it new. Everything fit perfect, but we didn't film it because we were doing it at night and we were doing it like at 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, and we were just so tired because we worked all day. But <coughs> Just trying, because he don't even have a vehicle right now to drive, so he's driving one of our cars, which it doesn't really make no difference, but I'm just trying to get his truck together for him. But I bought me a new Raptor, so I'll shoot you some pictures of that. I bought a crew cab. I didn't really want a new 3.5, but, the, you know, mine's getting 90-some thousand on it, and I've had it for five years, so I thought it was time to upgrade. So I bought me a new charcoal gray. This one's supposed to get better gas mods. Yeah, I ain't worried about gas mods. Well, it's loaded up, big roof, everything. It's top notch. It's hit light, good title, which we hardly ever, I mean, we buy some good title cars, but I don't really care if it's a good title, rebuilt title. I've been doing this for so long. Rebuilt titles don't mean nothing to me. But uh, I will, I don't know. We're wait, I bought the vehicle. Uh, get this, I bought it on Black Friday. And uh, I ordered the parts for it the day I bought it. I hadn't even seen it yet. And it was in Odessa, Texas. And we're in Kentucky. And I hadn't even seen a truck yet. I just went by what the pictures looked like. So I ordered all the parts for it. Everything came in five days later. I still haven't got a left front fender. 
and we're still waiting on a left front fender right i'd already be working on it but it just blows my mind how parts don't uh come in but well, they say it's because of the holidays. Holidays is over now. They sent you a fender. Yeah, they sent me a fender for a regular F-150. But it's the F-150 fender. Yeah. So it's just kind of crazy. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all's support of watching our channel. And I know it's been a while since we posted videos. But just like I say, we had a, our router. We live in the country. I mean, we live deep in the country. And uh, it's hard to get a good reception out here. And we upgraded our router over the Christmas. And it's huge, like Seth said. And the last video we uploaded, it took two minutes. And usually it'd take how long? Two hours. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get some new videos uploaded and just do some neat stuff. Uh, just continue watch us. We're going to try to post more videos, but I say that every time, but we get so... I, I, I'm only human, and I get frustrated because we stay so covered up with work, which work brings money, and work pays the bills, work lets you... Life. It's just, it's life. And um, So until this gets to where it brings in the bills... This... This is just a hobby. This is so, not, we're not looking forward to bringing any money. I'm not. This is just a hobby because we like just playing around with it. We like watching it on, I mean, I watch everybody on YouTube. I got so many people I, think it's I fun watch. I watch it on TV. Yeah, or, and it's just so cool. I mean, and when you're in the parking lot talking with your buddies and you overhear your voice on somebody else's phone that you don't know, it's pretty neat. And you look over and they're watching your videos because they see your t shirt. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, my phone. Did I just cut it off? Yeah, you did. Well, I just shut it off and didn't know it. But anyway, we're going to put this truck together. We may not be able to get together all the way. Uh, we're going to try to get the headlights and the grill and the shutters, which every new Ford comes with shutters, which is, I don't understand the purpose of it. Somebody out there will probably correct me and tell me what the purpose of the shutters are. But they hold a stupid grill in these new trucks, so there's no way around it. It's got to have them. And them suckers are $540-some dollars our cost at Ford. And for the Raptor, they were even higher than that. Don't make no sense to me. And they're smaller on your. But anyway, we may do a we may do a fast time on putting this together. I don't know, but we'll set it up and might do a little bit of something, something. So hang out. We did do no slow mo on it, but because we don't have time, we got the headlights in. But we forgot to order two pieces. They they go right here that this balance snaps into. You gotta love aftermarket parts. Look at that. Uh, but we put all four parts on it but one fender. Because it was on back order. Yeah, because it was on back order. It's like everything else it seems like we ordered from Ford here, man. But it all comes from China, so... China! Oi, oi! But we got the headlights in, and we'll have to stop on it today. We, we're going to put the grill in it, and then we'll order these pieces Monday. We love them having, I don't know, who knows? With everything on, it seems like everything right now from Ford, like factory Ford parts, is on back order. It seems like literally everything. I don't care if it's one of these little things. If one of these but little clips. We're back. changing a 16 to look like a 18, 19 in the front. So we didn't know that we needed these pieces. We ordered everything that we thought we needed. And it don't show these on the diagram uh, when you pull it up. But we might have overlooked it. But anyway, we're going to put the grill in it. And I'll pause for a second and show you after the grill's in it. Oh, show, him, show the shutters. What the shutters uh, are. This is what I was talking about on shutters. Every, every seems like every new Ford vehicle's got them. Your Nissan Rogues have them. Your it's an electric motor, and yeah. I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to do. I guess like when it's when the vehicle's cold. When the vehicle's it cold, they shut, and then when the vehicle warms up, it's supposed to make the vehicle warm up quicker, quicker or faster. And I they say they shut at a high speed for better fuel efficiency. That's what we read, but I know semis have them. Because my girlfriend's dad is a semi truck driver. And I know they work on semis, and semis have had them for 40 some years, but not a semi. No, not a semi. semi. This is, this is a truck. That is a car. That's a car. That's a car. This is a this truck. This does not have shirts. This is a truck. This is a semi. Yeah. They started that crap on the Ford Focus because we built a lot of Ford Focuses. And uh, they started that in 12, putting them on there. And they were so expensive. <clears throat> Used to be able but to now buy you can buy them it. aftermarket. You can buy them aftermarket for the 15, 16, 17 F-150 for 150 bucks or 200 bucks aftermarket. But when they changed the front end to the new style and it done the headlights with the recess in them like that and changed the grill, it changed the shutters and they don't have them aftermarket now. So they got to come from Ford and those were like 540 or 550. <laughs> Double.
So you got to love what Ford does. Well, all the car makers are the same. Ain't no car no better than another. Everybody complaining, all oh, Ford's the best, Chevy's the best, Dodge's the best, Nissan, I don't know all of them. We build them because people want them, and which well, I've always, I've been a Mustang guy all my life. I love Mustangs. Well, it's and, like uh, crash assist. I hate crash assist. Yeah, he drove a like new like Fusion and we built a 19. Oh, my God. And crash assist freaked him out. Scared me to death. Oh, but on another note, we did put the CTSV up for sale, and it went to a great couple in other side of Indianapolis. They actually have a 12 that's blue, automatic. We actually met them at LS Fest last year. And when we posted it online, they were about the 10th person that commented on it and drove straight down here with a check and bought it and drove it home. So it went to a good home, and we had the Shelby GT350 up for sale. Cheap. It's 39.5. I think. I think it's 39.5. Just turned over 8,000 miles. And we've got the RS on the lot for sale, not fixed, because it seems like we can't get ahead enough to fix it. But if we get if we get caught up, we're going to fix it. Hopefully. I've got a Fiat Abrath, however how you say that. A Barth, Abrath. I've heard it about a hundred. Yeah, we've heard ways. it ever, but we country, so we're gonna call it Abrath. And uh, it's it'll be a fun little it's car. It's fun it's car. It's got a Mathis turbo system on it, uh, exhaust, it. tuned, and we've had it for how many years? Six. Four, four when or it, five, when six. We I don't know. First got it. It was pretty much one of the only ones really in our area because it was had the Garrett turbo upgrade. It had the Madness tune, the Madness exhaust, the. Um, Underdrive pulleys, the I don't I can't remember. It's got an Italian name on the. I don't uh, know. Anyway, it's a pretty cool car. So we're gonna try to get that thing finished for the summer, just to have something for my wife to buzz around in. I don't know. It'll get good. We've had knowledge. it forever. It's cool looking, but we gotta paint the whole car because it it looked like it got sideswiped by a semi because it had a big semi uh, tire mark down the side, and then it looked like they spun out, and tore the front and rear cover off of it. But we've put a left rear quarter on it, repaired the door, uh, repaired the hatch. New front and rear covers, but we haven't got it finished yet. And it's up at the other shop. Ain't nobody ever really seen it. And we're in the process of moving, like I've been saying that on every video. But we've got all new LED lights hung in the body shop. And we're getting ready to have a guy come in and look at the the paint room. We're going to tear it, take it down, take put all new lights and vents and blah, blah, blah up there. So. We did get new lights in the... Um that's what I said, in the body shop. Body shop. Area. So it lights up like daylight in there. It don't look like Chainsaw Massacre. In but we're going to pause for a minute, and we'll put the grill in and show you what it looks like. To get it. Bam! Look at that. 18 front end on a 16 truck. But we was going to put the bumper and everything on today to make it look bad. Yeah. Booty. Bad booty. But we Don't forgot those beans. pieces. Yay! But it's, uh, we've only built, mm, no, we haven't built a new 18, 19. We've only built 15, 16, uh, and 17. If somebody will buy that white one up there, we'll build another one. Yeah, we've got a white 19. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's got 8,000 miles on it. I was going to keep it for myself if I couldn't find a Raptor, but I wound up finding a Raptor. So, yay for me, new Raptor. And my old one will be for sale, though, if anybody's out there. It's an 11, 6.2. Uh, I've had it since it had 17,000 miles on it. It is a rebuild, so don't be scared. Ah, but look at that. Shut the hood. Boom! Look at that. That's going to be sweet. Oh, yeah. Plus, when he puts his wheels on it and we lift it, it's going to be sweet. Yeah, I'll put my wheels on it. Then you want to sit here and go, like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. So. Bam! I got the sniffles. He's got the sniffles. <laughs> but he's back in school this week. Was his first week back to school. Yeah. Yay! Weldman circuits. <clears throat> so he's learning a lot, and he's his hours got cut, so he's been helping me in the garage some. So, but he can't help a whole lot because this weather's so up and down. Last week, you all, this is Kentucky. We were at sixty and seventy degrees, and now we're at thirty-two. Yeah. And they said the high tomorrow was going to be twenty-seven. Monday and Tuesday is going to be the same way. It's crazy. Crazy. This is why everyone's sick. But, so we're going to. We're going to try to do a lot of vacationing oh, this year yes. if we can, hopefully, to the beach. Yeah. But anyway, anything new? Anything new coming in, exciting? Just my rapper we're going to build? Not that I know of. After this. After I'm, this truck. Well, the Mustang, yeah, he's broke. <laughs> he's got two, but he's got two cars that are paid for. The man is 17 years old. He's worked his butt off. He has flipped cars, a bunch of Nissan stuff that people love, which he still likes them. They're cool. Anything car-wise is cool. It doesn't make no difference what it is. It's cool. I don't care. Like I said, Ford, Chevy. 
All of it. I love them all. I don't care. They're cool. And I would have loved to keep them, but the good Lord, Twin Turbo 300 ZXs, they love injectors. Yeah, they love eating them. They're just my like, heart is with the Fox Bodies. I love them. And it's sick that I don't even own one. I sold that coupe, and it went to a, it went to a good home. Went to a good friend of mine, and he told, sold it to another friend of mine, and he has absolutely just went nuts with it. It is, it's uh, he actually put eighty five model GT interior in it, new carburetor. Just I mean, he just went nuts on it. The car runs. He drives it. I mean, he it just it doesn't sit in the garage. He drives it every day, so it's pretty cool. But was it what's that show? Foxcast. Uh, Foxcast Media. Foxcast yeah. Media. We watched last night. He was in not too far from us. Yeah. Looking at an eighty eight LX. He didn't tell the miles was on it, but it was a non-option car. It had zero options. No, no, AC. no AC, no cruise, no, cruise, no power windows, no power mirrors. And I sent him a message last night because I want to know if the car is still available because he passed on it. Because if it is, we're going to snatch it. But Cause it's we haven't heard anything back from him today, so I'm hoping maybe he'll read his messages and send us a send us a number because we can send us a send us a number because we actually got on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and searched the area that the car was in and it's not for sale so I don't know if it's already been sold who knows when he videoed it and when he cuz he just uploaded it what 2 days ago it was uh, when we when we watched it last night it was uploaded 3 hours ago 3 hours yeah so who knows if he went last week and looked yeah. at it but the car is really close to us. I can't believe we didn't find it. And I would love it. It's charcoal gray. It's 88, which is a, it's a speed density car. Not, and I, w I would like to just paint it back the original gray and do nothing to it and leave it all stock. Call LMR, get a set of factory gator backs to go back on it and make it look like it did when it came back out in, in, in 1988 because it's so cool. I mean, I bought a brand new 88 GT in 88 and it, it was white with tan interior, which was very, very rare. I worked at a Ford dealership, and I'd done a dealer trade on it in Lexington and drove a Lincoln Town car up and picked it up and drove it back and bought it because I just loved the car. It was it was odd. It was a sunroof. Didn't have power windows, but it had air and cruise and tilt and an AM, FM cassette, but it didn't have power windows. But it had tan interior. How many 88 white GTs do you all know of that had tan interior, which is kind of odd? But I kept the car for a year and then sold it, and... Bought a wrecked LX and built it, and then just constantly kept building the wreck. That was the only really new Fox. I only bought one new Fox body, and it was pretty cool to own it. But I ordered an 87 LX coupe, charcoal gray, no options, no air, nothing. And it actually, they told me that it fell off the truck in delivery. And as later on, as time goes on through life, I found out that it stopped at another Ford dealership. They were unloading it, and the guy that owned that Ford dealership called my dealership and offered them more money for the car. And they give me that bogus story back in the 80s. So, and I was gullible and believed it. So, but anyway, that's another day. That's been, that's water on the bridge. And we're moving on and just having a good time. So, oh, and we're going to be going to, what's it called? Smokies? Ponies in the Smokies. Ponies in the Smokies. Pits. So it's in the pits. Pits. Pits, whatever. <laughs> So anyway, stay tuned, watch more videos. If you like us, subscribe, hit the little button so you'll be notified. Hopefully, we'll get more videos uploaded this year. <clears throat> We're going to try to start 2020 off a lot better. Where'd he go? He disappeared. He's a magician. Anyway, but um, we love the people. We love the comments, and just keep watching us and uh, keep this old boy right here going with his cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we love y'all. Peace out. Have a great time until our next video.